Manipur listen, is a state in northeast India, with the city of Imphal as its capital. It is bounded by Nagaland to the north, Mizoram to the south, and Assam to the west. Burma Myanmar, lies to its east. The state covers an area of 22,327 square kilometers 8,621 square miles and has a population of almost 3 million, including the Meiti, who are the majority group in the state, Loi, Yathibi, Kuki and Naga peoples, who speak a variety of Sino-Tibetan languages. Manipur has been at the crossroads of Asian economic and cultural exchange for more than 2,500 years. It has long connected the Indian subcontinent to Southeast Asia and China, enabling migration of people, cultures, and religions. During the Raj, the Kingdom of Manipur was one of the princely states. Between 1917 and 1939, the people of Manipur pressed for their rights against British rule. By the late 1930s, the princely state of Manipur negotiated with the British administration its preference to be part of India, rather than Burma. These negotiations were cut short with the outbreak of World War II. On the 11th of August 1947, Maharaja Budachandra signed the instrument of accession, joining India. Later on 21 September 1949, he signed a merger agreement, merging the kingdom into India. This merger has been disputed by groups in Manipur as having been completed without consensus and under duress. The dispute and differing visions for the future has resulted in a 50-year insurgency in the state for independence from India, as well as in repeated episodes of violence among ethnic groups in the state. From 2009 through 2018, the conflict was responsible for the violent deaths of over 1,000 people. The Meitei ethnic group represents 53% of the population of Manipur state. The main language of the state is Meitei, also known as Manipuri. Tribes constituting about 20% of the state population are distinguished by dialects and cultures that are often village-based. Manipur's ethnic groups practice a variety of religions. According to 2011 census, Hinduism is the major religion in the state, closely followed by Christianity. Other religions include Islam, Sanamahism, Buddhism etc. Manipur has primarily an agrarian economy, with significant hydroelectric power generation potential. It is connected to other areas by daily flights through Imphal Airport, the second largest in northeastern India. Manipur is home to many sports and the origin of Manipuri dance, and is credited with introducing polo to Europeans. Alternate names Manipur is mentioned in historic texts as Kanglipak or Mitilipak Sanamahi Lycan wrote that officials during the reign of Mitingu Pamiba in the 18th century adopted Manipur's new name. According to Sakak Lamlan, the area had different names in its history. During the Hayachic period, it was known as Mayai Koiran Pure Namthak Saranpung or Tili Koktong Ahanba, in the Kunungchak period, it was Mira Pongdaklam. During the Langbachic era, it became Tili Koktong Lykoiran, and finally was known as Muapali in the Kanashic epic. Neighboring cultures each had differing names for Manipur and its people. The Shan or Pong called the area Kasse, the Burmese Kata, and the Assamese Mekli. In the first treaty between the British East India Company and Maitingu Chinkthankamba, Bhagyashandra, signed in 1762, the kingdom was recorded as Mekli. Bhagyashandra and his successors issued coins engraved with Manipureshwar, or Lord of Manipur, and the British discarded the name Mekli. Later on, the work Durrani Samhita popularized the Sanskrit legends of the origin of Manipur's name. The term Kangalay, meaning of Manipur, Kanglipak, is used to refer to items associated with the state where the term Manipuri is a recent given name. History the history of Manipur Meities is chronicled in Piyas or Puwaris stories about our forefathers, namely, the Ningthao Kangbalan, Chitharal Kumbaba, Ningtharal Lambuba, Puritan Kunthakpa, Panthoibi Konkal, etc. in the archaic Meitei script, which is comparable to the Thai script. The historical accounts presented here were recordings from the eyes and the judgment of the Meitei kings and Mikas Meitei scholars. Hill tribes have their own folk tales, myths and legends. Manipur was known by different names at various periods in its history, such as, Tili Koktong, Pure Lam, Sana Lipak, Mite Lipak, Maitravik or Manipur, present day. Its capital was Kangla, Yumphal or Imphal, present day. 
Its people were known by various names, such as Mite, Foray Mite, Mite, Maite or Maitei, the Puwaris, Ningdao Kangbalan, Ningdaral Lambuba, Chitharal Kumbaba, Foraitan Kunthakpa, recorded the events of each king who ruled Manipur in a span of more than 3,500 years until 1955 AD, a total of more than 108 kings. Ningdao Kangba 15th century BC, is regarded the first and foremost king of Manipur. There were times when the country was in turmoil without rulers and long historical gaps in between 1129 BC to 44 BC. In 1891 AD, after the defeat of the Maitais by the British in the Anglo-Manipuri War of Kongjom, the sovereignty of Manipur which it had maintained for more than three millenniums, was lost. It regained its freedom on 28 August 1947 AD. On 15 October 1949, Manipur was unified with India. Medieval By the medieval period, marriage alliances between royal families of the Manipur Kingdom, Ahom, Assam, and Burma had become common. Medieval-era Manipur manuscripts discovered in the 20th century, particularly the Puya, provide evidence that Hindus from the Indian subcontinent were married to Manipur royalty at least by the 14th century. In centuries thereafter, royal spouses came also from what is now modern Assam, Bengal, Uttar Pradesh along with ancient Dravidian kingdoms, and other regions. Another manuscript suggests that Muslims arrived in Manipur in the 17th century, from what is now Bangladesh, during the reign of Maitingu Kagemba. The socio-political turmoil and wars, particularly the persistent and devastating Manipur-Burma wars, affected the cultural and religious demography of Manipur. Colonial period In the late 19th century, the British Empire in the Indian subcontinent annexed Manipur, with its status maintained as a princely state. During World War II, Manipur was the scene of many fierce battles between Japanese invaders and British Indian forces. The Japanese were beaten back before they could enter Imphal, which was one of the turning points of the overall war. Modern history after the war, the princely states and India moved toward independence. The Manipur Constitution Act of 1947 established a democratic form of government, with the Maharaja as the executive head. Faced with Burma's ambitions to take over the state, in 1949, Maharaja Bhadchandra went to Shillong, where he signed the instrument of accession to merge the kingdom into India instead. Thereafter the Legislative Assembly was dissolved, and Manipur became part of the Republic of India in October 1949. It was made a Union Territory in 1956, and a fully-fledged state in 1972. Manipur has had a long record of insurgency and inter-ethnic violence. The first armed opposition group in Manipur, the United National Liberation Front UNLF, was founded in 1964, which declared that it wanted to gain independence from India and form Manipur as a new country. Over time, many more groups formed in Manipur, each with different goals, and deriving support from diverse ethnic groups in Manipur. For example, in 1977 the people S. Revolutionary Party of Kanglipak -E was formed, the People's Liberation Army PLA was formed in 1978 which Human Rights Watch states as having received arms and training from China. In 1980, the Kanglipak Communist Party KCP, was formed. These groups began a spree of bank robberies and attacks on police officers and government buildings. The state government appealed to the central government in New Delhi for support in combating this violence. From 1980 to 2004, the Indian government referred to Manipur as a disturbed area. This term, designated by the Ministry of Home Affairs or a state governor, refers to a territory where extraordinary laws under the Armed Forces Special Powers Act can be used. The laws allow the military to treat private and public spaces in the same manner, detain individuals up to 24 hours with unlimited renewals, to perform warrantless searches, and to shoot and kill individuals that break laws, carry weapons, or gather in groups larger than four as well as giving legal immunity to the military. Since 1980, the application of AFSPA has been at the heart of concerns about human rights violations in the region, such as arbitrary killings, torture, cruel, inhuman and degrading treatment, and forced disappearances. Its continued application has led to numerous protests, notably the long-standing hunger strike by IROM Sharmal Achanu. 
In 2004, the government lifted the disturbed status after a violent attack on a local woman. The rape of a Manipuri woman, Thangjam Munorama Devi, by members of the Assam Rifles paramilitary had led to wide protests including a nude protest by the Mira Pibus Women Association. Geography The state lies at a latitude of 23 degrees 83. In 25 degrees 68. N and a longitude of 93 degrees 03. E 94 degrees 78. E. The total area covered by the state is 22,347 square kilometers 8,628 square miles. The capital lies in an oval-shaped valley of approximately 700 square miles 2,000 square kilometers surrounded by blue mountains and is at an elevation of 790 meters 2,590 feet above sea level. The slope of the valley is from north to south. The mountain ranges create a moderated climate, preventing the cold winds from the north from reaching the valley and barring cyclonic storms originating from the Bay of Bengal. The state is bordered by the Indian states of Nagaland to its north, Mizoram to its south, Assam to its west, and shares international border with Myanmar to its east. The state has four major river basins, the Barak River Basin, Barak Valley, to the west, the Manipur River Basin in central Manipur, the U River Basin in the east, and a portion of the Lanye River Basin in the north. The water resources of Barak and Manipur River Basins are about 1.8487 mham. The overall water balance of the state amounts to 0.7236 mham in the annual water budget. By comparison, India receives 400 mham million hectare meters of rain annually. The Barak River, the largest of Manipur, originates in the Manipur Hills and is joined by tributaries, such as the Orang, Maku, and Tuavai. After its junction with the Tuavai, the Barak River turns north, forms the border with Assam state, and then enters the Kachar Assam just above Lakapur. The Manipur River Basin has eight major rivers, the Manipur, Imphal, Iril, Nambul, Sekmai, Chakpi, Thubal and Kuga. All these rivers originate from the surrounding hills. Almost all the rivers in the valley area are in the mature stage and therefore deposit their sediment load in the Loktak Lake. The rivers draining the Manipur hills are comparatively young, due to the hilly terrain through which they flow. These rivers are corrosive and assume turbulent form in the rainy season. Important rivers draining the western area include the Maku, Barak, Yiri, Orang and Limatak. Rivers draining the eastern part of the state, the U River Basin, include the Chamu, Kuno and other short streams. Manipur may be characterized as two distinct physical regions, an outlying area of rugged hills and narrow valleys, and the inner area of flat plain, with all associated landforms. These two areas are distinct in physical features and are conspicuous in flora and fauna. The valley region has hills and mounds rising above the flat surface. The Loktak Lake is an important feature of the central plain. The total area occupied by all the lakes is about 600 square kilometers. The altitude ranges from 40 meters at Jurabam to 2,994 meters at Mount Iso Tempu, peak near Mao Songsong. The soil cover can be divided into two broad types, viz. the red ferruginous soil in the hill area and the alluvium in the valley. The valley soils generally contain loam, small rock fragments, sand and sandy clay, and are varied. On the plains, especially flood plains and deltas, the soil is quite thick. The top soil on the steep slopes is very thin. Soil on the steep hill slopes is subject to high erosion, resulting in gullies and barren rock slopes. The normal pH value ranges from 5.4 to 6.8. Flora Natural vegetation occupies an area of about 14,365 square kilometers, 5,546 square miles, nearly 64% of the total geographical area of the state, and consists of short and tall grasses, reeds and bamboos, and trees. Broadly, there are four types of forests, tropical semi-evergreen, dry temperate forest, subtropical pine, and tropical moist deciduous. There are forests of teak, pine, oak, yuningthau, lehao, bamboo, and cane. Rubber, tea, coffee, orange, and cardamom are grown in hill areas. Rice, a staple food for Manipuris, and other cash crops make up the main vegetation cover in the valley. Climate 
The climate of Manipur is largely influenced by the topography of this hilly region. Lying 790 meters above sea level, Manipur is wedged among hills on all sides. This northeastern corner of India enjoys a generally amiable climate, though the winters can be chilly. The maximum temperature in the summer months is 32 degrees Celsius 90 degrees Fahrenheit. In winter the temperature often falls below 0 degrees Celsius 32 degrees Fahrenheit, bringing frost. Snow sometimes falls in hilly regions due to the western disturbance. The coldest month is January, and the warmest July. The state is drenched in rains from May until mid-October. It receives an average annual rainfall of 1,467.5 mm in. Rain distribution varies from 933 mm in, in Imphal to 2,593 mm in, in Tamanglong. The precipitation ranges from light drizzle to heavy downpour. The normal rainfall of Manipur enriches the soil and helps in agriculture and irrigation. The southwesterly monsoon picks up moisture from the Bay of Bengal and heads toward Manipur, hits the eastern Himalaya ranges and produces a massive amount of rain. The climate is salubrious with approximate average annual rainfall varying from 933 mm in at Imphal to 2,593 mm in at Tamanglong. The temperature ranges from sub-zero to 36 degrees Celsius 32 to 97 degrees Fahrenheit. Demographics Population Manipur has a population of 2,855,794 as per 2011 census. Of this total, 58.9% live in the valley and the remaining 41.1% in the hilly regions. The hills are inhabited mainly by the Kuki, and Naga, and smaller tribal communities in the valley plains mainly by the Maitais, Manipuri Brahmins, Baymans, and Pangal, Manipuri Muslims. Bishnupriya Manipuri, Naga and Kuki settlements are also found in the valley region, though less in numbers. The distribution of area, population and density, and literacy rate as per the 2001 census provisional figures are as below. People The Maitii, synonymous to Manipuri, constitute the majority of the state. S population. In 1901, the Maitei were recorded as the main ethnicity of Manipur. They live primarily in the state's valley region. Kukis and Nagas are the major tribe conglomerates. The Nagas in Manipur are further sub-divided into sub-tribes, Tankul, Maram, Pumai, Angami, Chakasing, Liangmai, Rongmai, Zim, and Mao. Languages the official languages are Maitei language and English. The term Maitei includes Sanamahis, Christians, Hindus and Manipuri Brahmins locally called Mite Baymans. The Maitei language or Manipuri is the lingua franca in Manipur and is one of the languages listed in the 8th schedule of the Indian constitution. Manipur has a diverse group of ethnic groups speaking different languages and dialects, practicing Hinduism, Christianity, Sanamahism, Buddhism, Islam, and other folk religions. The languages spoken in Manipur 2001 census are Maiti 1,266,098, Pula language, Pumai Naga 179,189, Thadu Kuki 1, 91,596, Tankul 87,950, Pate 48,379, HMAR 43,137, Bayife 37,553, Liangmai 32,787, Bengali 27,100, Hindi 24,720, Maring 22,154, Anal 22,187, Zo 20,626, KOM 14,550 58, Gangti 13,752, Simti 10,028, and Mon, Monsang plus Moyan 7,000. There are 29 dialects spoken in Manipur. Religion Hinduism 
About 41.39% of Manipuri people are Hindus. Hinduism is mostly professed by Maiti'i people, who are majority in the state. However, a large minority of Maiti'i people practices Sanamahism traditional Maiti'i religion and Christianity. Vaishnavism school of Hinduism became a dominant force in Manipur in the 18th century when the king, Garib Niwas declared it as the official state religion. This was the Vaishnavism of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the Bhakti preacher of Bengal, which stressed Krishna Bhakti. The Hindu population is heavily concentrated in the Manipur Valley among the Maiti'i people. The districts of Vishnupur, Thubal, Imphal East and Imphal West are all Hindu majorities averaging 67.62%, range 62.27 to 74.81%, according to the 2011 census data. Christianity Christianity is the religion of 41.29% of the people in the state. It was brought by missionaries to Manipur in the 19th century. In the 20th century, a few Christian schools were established, which introduced Western-type education. Catholic schools such as Little Flower School in Imphal, Don Bosco High School in Imphal, St. Joseph's Convent, and Nirmalabas High School continue to operate in Manipur. A majority of the population in the hill districts are Christian. Maitism and Sanamahi Folk religions are practiced by about 8% of the state's people. These religions have a long history in Manipur. Sanamahism is the ancient indigenous animistic religion. Sanamahi worship is concentrated around the sun god, Sanamahi. The early Maiti'i worshipped a supreme deity, Lainingdao Saralal, and followed their ancestors. Their ancestor worship and animism was based on Umang Lai, ethnic governing deities worshipped in sacred groves. Some of the traditional deities Lais, whom Maitais worship are Atiya Sadaba, Pakangba, Sanamahi, Limaran, Oknaral, Thangnaral, Panganba, Thangjing, Marjing, Wangbaran, and Kobru. According to the 2011 population census the other religions and persuasions Category, which included minor Indian religions other than Hinduism, Islam, Christianity, Sikhism, Buddhism and Jainism, accounted for 8.19% of the population. Like the Hindu population they are concentrated in the Manipur Valley districts, where the Maiti'i people are dominant and account for 14% of the valley population, range 10-16% of the population. Islam Manipuri Muslims, known locally as Maiti'i Pangal, constitute about 8.3% of the state population as per 2011 census. Sufi saint, Sheikh Shah Jalal D. Din al Mujarid al Turk al Naqshbandi, came to Silhet, and Azan Fakir Baghdadi arrived in 1690 AD in Assam. They influenced Manipuri Muslims. They belong to the Sunni group of Hanafi school of thought and there are Arab Bangladesh, Tehrani, Bengali and Mughal or Chattai Turk sections among Manipuri Muslims. The literacy rate among Muslims is 58.6%, male 75% and female 41.6%, below the state's average of 70.5%, male 80.3% and female 60.5%. In 1995, out of 135,000 Muslims, 5,704 had matriculated from secondary school. There was a total of 1,822 who had graduated in addition to 86 technical and professional graduates. There were 51 class 1 Muslim officers including 3 women, 101 class 2 officers and 1,270 and 1,663 employees belonging to class 3 and IV categories respectively. Government The government of Manipur is a collective assembly of 60 elected members, of which 19 are reserved for scheduled tribes and one for scheduled castes. The state sends two representatives to the Lok Sabha of the Parliament of India. The state sends one representative to the Raja Sabha. The legislature of the state is unicameral. Representatives are elected for a five-year term to the State Assembly and India's Parliament through voting, a process overseen by the offices of the Election Commission of India. The state has one autonomous council. Security and insurgency The violence in Manipur extend beyond those between Indian security forces and insurgent armed groups. 
There is violence between the Maitais, Nagas, Kukis and other tribal groups. They have formed splinter groups who disagree with each other. Other than UNLF, PLA and PREPAK, Manipuri insurgent groups include Revolutionary People's Front RPF, Manipur Liberation Front Army MLFA, Kangalay Yawal Kanalup, KYKL, Revolutionary Joint Committee RJC, Kanglaipak Communist Party KCP, People's United Liberation Front PULF, Manipur Naga People Front MNPF, National Socialist Council of Nagaland NSCNK, National Socialist Council of Nagaland NSCNIM, United Kuki Liberation Front UKLF, Kuki National Front KNF, Kuki National Army KNA, Kuki Defense Force KDF, Kuki Democratic Movement KDM, Kuki National Organization NO, Kuki Security Force KSF, Chin Kuki Revolutionary Front CKRF, KOM REM People's Convention KRPC, Zomi Revolutionary Volunteers ZRV, Zomi Revolutionary Army ZRA, Zomi Army Reunification Organization ZRO, and HMAR People's Convention HPC, the Meiji insurgent groups seek independence from India. The Kuki insurgent groups want a separate state for the Kukis to be carved out from the present state of Manipur. The Kuki insurgent groups are under two umbrella organizations, Kuki National Organization no, and United People's Forum. The Nagas wish to annex part of Manipur and merge with a greater Nagaland or Nagaland, which is in conflict with Meiji insurgent demands for the integrity of their vision of an independent state. There were many tensions between the tribes and numerous clashes between Naga and Kukis, Maitais and Muslims. According to SATP, there has been a dramatic decline in fatalities in Manipur since 2009. In 2009, 77 civilians died, about 3 per 100,000 people. From 2010 onwards, about 25 civilians have died in militants-related violence about 1 per 100,000 people, dropping further to 21 civilian deaths in 2013, or 0 0.8 per 100,000 people. However, there were 76 explosions in 2013, compared to 107 explosions in 2012. Different groups claimed responsibility for explosions, some claiming they were targeting competing militant groups, others claiming their targets were state and central government officials. The average worldwide violent unnatural death rate between 2004 and 2009 was 7.9 per 100,000 per year. Economy the 2012-2013 gross state domestic product of Manipur at market prices was about 10,188 crore rupees, 1.4 billion dollars. Its economy is primarily agriculture, forestry, cottage and trade driven. Manipur acts as India's gateway to the east through Mora and Tamu towns, the land route for trade between India and Burma and other Southeast Asian countries. Manipur has the highest number of handicrafts units and the highest number of craftspersons in the northeastern region of India. Electricity Manipur produced about 0.1 gigawatt hours terajoules of electricity in 2010 with its infrastructure. The state has hydroelectric power generation potential, estimated to be over 2 gigawatt hours as of 2010, if half of this potential is realized, it is estimated that this would supply 24-7 electricity to all residents, with a surplus for sale, as well as supplying the Burma power grid. Agriculture Manipur's climate and soil conditions make it ideally suited for horticultural crops. Growing there are rare and exotic medicinal and aromatic plants. Some cash crops suited for Manipur include lychee, cashew, walnut, orange, lemon, pineapple, papaya, passion fruit, peach, pear and plum. The state is covered with over 3,000 square kilometers 1, square miles of bamboo forests, making it one of India's largest contributor to its bamboo industry. Transportation infrastructure Tulahal Airport, Changangay, Imphal, the only airport of Manipur, connects directly with Delhi, Kolkata, Guwahati, and Agartala. It has been upgraded as an international airport. 
As India's second largest airport in the northeast, it serves as a key logistical center for northeastern states. National Highway NH39 links Manipur with the rest of the country through the railway stations at Dimapur in Nagaland at a distance of 215 kilometers, 134 miles from Imphal. National Highway 53 India connects Manipur with another railway station at Silchar in Assam, which is 269 kilometers, 167 miles away from Imphal. The road network of Manipur, with a length of 7,170 kilometers, 4,460 miles, connects all the important towns and distant villages. However, the road condition throughout the state is often deplorable. In 2010, Indian government announced that it is considering an Asian infrastructure network from Manipur to Vietnam. The proposed Trans-Asian Railway TAR, if constructed, will pass through Manipur, connecting India to Burma, Thailand, Malaysia and Singapore. Tourism The tourist season is from October to February when it is often sunny without being hot and humid. The culture features martial arts, dance, theater and sculpture. Greenery accompanies a moderate climate. The seasonal Shirui lily plant at Ukrol District, Jako Valley at Senapati, Sangai, Brow Antler Deer, and the floating islands at Lokdak Lake are among the rarities of the area. Polo, which can be called a royal game, originated in Manipur. Imphal capital. The city is inhabited by the Meiti, who predominate, also Pangals, Manipuri Muslims, and other tribes. The city contains the Tulahal Airport. The district is divided into east and west. The Kuman Lampak Sports Complex was built for the 1997 National Games. The stadium is used for a sports venue. It also contains a cyclist's velodrome. Most of the imported goods are sold here at its Payona Bazaar, Gambar Singh Shopping Complex and Lima Plaza. Sri Govindaji Temple, Andro Village, and the Manipur State Museum are in the city. Lakes and Islands 48 kilometers 30 miles from Imphal, lies the largest fresh water lake in northeast India, the Loktak Lake, a miniature inland sea. There is a tourist bungalow atop Sendra Island. Life on the lake includes small islands that are floating weed on which live the lake people, the blue waters of the lake, and colorful water plants. There is a Sendra tourist home with an attached cafeteria in the middle of the lake. Floating islands are made out of the tangle of watery weeds and other plants. The wetland is swampy and is favorable for a number of species. It is in the district of Vishnupur. The etymology of Loktak is Lok. Streamed talk. The end. End of the streams. Sendra Park and Resort is opening on the top of Sendra Hills and attracting the tourist. Hills and valleys. Kaina is a hillock about 921 meters 3022 feet above sea level. It is a sacred place for Manipuri Hindus. The legend is that Sri Govindaji appeared in the dream of his devotee, Sri Jai Singh Maharaja, and asked the saintly king to install in a temple, an image of Sri Govindaji. It was to be carved out of a jack fruit tree, which was then growing at Kaina. It is 29 kilometers 18 miles from Imphal. The Jako Valley is in Senapati district bordering with Koima. There are seasonal flowers and a number of flora and fauna. It is at an altitude of 2,438 meters 7,999 feet above sea level, behind the Jafu Peak in Nagaland. The rare Jako lily is found only in this valley. Ecotourism Kibul Lamjau National Park, 48 kilometers 30 miles away from Imphal is an abode of the rare and endangered species of brow antler deer. This ecosystem contains 17 rare species of mammals. It is the only floating national park of the world. 6 kilometers 3.7 miles to the west of Imphal, at the foot of the pine growing hillocks at Irwazemba on the Imphal Kongchup Road are the zoological gardens. Some brow antler deer sangai, are housed there. Waterfalls Sidhu Chiru Waterfall is near Ikam Kirip village 27 kilometers 17 miles from Imphal, in the Sadar Hill area, Senapati district. This consists of three falls with the first fall about 30 meters 98 feet high. Agape Park is in the vicinity. 
It is owned and managed by Kamlan Talian of Icom Kirup. Natural Caves The Lawn Cave, around 910 meters 2,990 feet above sea level, is one of the historical sites of Manipur under Tamenglong District. It is around 185 kilometers 115 miles from the state capital and around 30 kilometers 19 miles from Tamenglong District Headquarters in North Side. From Thalan Village, this cave is 4 to 5 kilometers 2.5 to 3.1 miles. Kangkui Cave is a natural limestone cave in Ukral District. The big hall in the cave is the Darbar Hall of the Devil King living deep inside while the northern hall is the royal bedroom, according to local folklore. During World War II, villagers sought shelter here. This cave is an hour's trek from Kangkui Village. Education Manipur schools are run by the state and central government or by private organization. Instruction is mainly in English. Under the 10 plus 2 plus 3 plan, students may enroll in general or professional degree programs after passing the higher secondary examination, the grade 12 examination. The main universities are Manipur University, Central Agricultural University, National Institute of Technology, Manipur, Indian Institute of Information Technology, Manipur, Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Medical Sciences, Regional Institute of Medical Sciences and Indira Gandhi National Tribal University. Manipur is home to India's first floating elementary school, Loktak Elementary Floating School in Loktak Lake. Transportation Air Imphal International Airport is situated in the capital Imphal which connects direct flights from Imphal to Kolkata, Guwahati, New Delhi and Agartala. And there is new terminal as purpose to build. Roadways Manipur is connected to all its neighbor states with national highways. Rail Manipur has one railway station, Jurabam. Culture Secular theater is mostly confined to themes that are not religious, it is performed in the secular or profane spheres. In these are Shuming Lila and Fampak Lila, stage drama. Shuming Lila is very popular. Etymologically Shuming Lila is the combination of Shuming, courtyard, and Lila, play or performance. It is performed in an area of 13 times 13 feet in the center of any open space, in a very simple style without a raised stage, set design, or heavy props such as curtains, background scenery, and visual effects. It uses one table and two chairs, kept on one side of the performance space. Its claim is the theater of the masses is underlined by the way it is performed in the middle of an audience that surrounds it, leaving one passage as entrance and exit. The world of Fampak Lila, stage drama performed in the proscenium theatre is similar, in form, to the Western theatrical model and Indian Natyasastra model though its contents are indigenous. The so-called modern theatre descended on Manipur theatre culture with the performance of Pravas Milan under the enthusiastic patronage of Sir Churchand Maharaj 1891-1941. The pace of theatrical movement was geared up with the institution of groups such as Manipur Dramatic Union MDU, 1930, Aryan Theatre 1935, Chitrangada Natya Mandir 1936, Society Theatre 1937, Rupmahal 1942, Cosmopolitan Dramatic Union 1968, and the Chorus Repertory Theatre of Theum, 1976. These groups started experimenting with types of plays apart from historical and Pauranic ones. Today Manipur theatre is well respected because of excellent productions shown in India and abroad. Manipur plays both Shuming Lila and Stage Lila, have been a regular feature in the annual festival of the National School of Drama, New Delhi. ISKCON led by Bhaktis Varupa Damodara Swami started a network of schools in northeastern India, where more than 4,000 students receive education centered on Vaishnava spiritual values. In 1989 he founded. Ranganakitan Manipuri Cultural Arts Troupe, which has approximately 600 performances at over 300 venues in over 15 countries. Ranganakitan, literally, House of Colorful Arts, 
is a group of more than 20 dancers, musicians, singers, martial artists, choreographers and craft artisans. Some of them have received international acclaim. Manipur Dance, Ras Lila Manipur Dance, also known as Jagoy, is one of the major Indian classical dance forms, named after the state of Manipur. It is particularly known for its Hindu Vaishnavism themes, and exquisite performances of love-inspired dance drama of Radha Krishna called Raslila. However, the dance is also performed to themes related to Shaivism, Shaktism and regional deities such as Umang Lai during Lai Haraoba. The roots of Manipur dance, as with all classical Indian dances, is the ancient Hindu Sanskrit text Natya Shastra, but with influences from the culture fusion between India and Southeast Asia. Chorus Repertory Theater The auditorium of the theater is on the outskirts of Imphal and the campus stretches for about 2 acres 8, square meters. It has housing and working quarters to accommodate a self-sufficiency of life. The theater association has churned out internationally acclaimed plays like Chakravyuha and Uttar Priyadashi. Its 25 years of existence in theater had disciplined its performers to a world of excellence. Chakravyuha taken from the Mahabharat epic had won Fringe Firsts Award, 1987 at the Edinburgh International Theatre Festival. Chakravyuha deals with the story of Abhimanu, son of Arjun, of his last battle and approaching death, whereas Uttar Priyadashi is an 80-minute exposition of Emperor Ashoka's redemption. Sports Mukna is a popular form of wrestling. Mukna Kangji, or Kong Kangji, is a game which combines the arts of Mukna, wrestling hockey, and Kangji, cane stick, to play the ball made of seasoned bamboo roots. Yuba Lakthi is a traditional full contact game played in Manipur, India, using a coconut, which has some notable similarities to rugby. Yuba Lakthi literally means coconut snatching. The coconut is greased to make it slippery. There are rules of the game, as with all Manipur sports. The coconut serves the purpose of a ball and is offered to the king, the chief guest or the judges before the game begins. The aim is to run while carrying the greased coconut and physically cross over the goal line, while the other team tackles and blocks any such attempt as well as tries to grab the coconut and score on its own. In Manipur's long history, Yuba Lakthi was the annual official game, attended by the king, over the Hindu festival of Sri Govindaji. It is like the game of rugby, or American football, Uleobi, Uleobi, is an outdoor game mainly played by females. Maitei mythology believes that Umangle Heloi Teret, seven deities seven fairies played this game on the courtyard of the temple of Umang Lai Larambi. The number of participants is not fixed but are divided into two groups, sizes per agreement. Players are divided as into raiders, attackers, or defenders, avoiders. Haiyang Tanaba, also called Haiyang Batanaba, is a traditional boat rowing race and festivity of the Panis. Polo Captain Robert Stewart and Lieutenant Joseph Scherer of the British colonial era first watched locals play a rules-based pulu or sagokangji, literally, horse and stick, game in 1859. They adopted its rules, calling the game polo, and playing it on their horses. The game spread among the British in Calcutta and then to England. Apart from these games, some outdoor children's games are fading in popularity. Some games such as Kutlakpi, Figul Thamba, and Chafu Thugabi remain very popular elsewhere, such as in Cambodia. They are played especially during the Khmer New Year, first of its kind in India. National Sports University will be constructed in Manipur, too. Festivals the festivals of Manipur are Lui Gai Ni Ningal Chakuba, Yaoshang, Gan Gai, Chumpa, Cheraoba, Kong and Haikru Haidongba, as well as the broader religious festivals Eid ul Fitr, Eid ul Adha and Christmas. Most of these festivals are celebrated on the basis of lunar calendar. Almost every festival celebrated in other states of India is observed here, and it makes Manipur a mini metropolis. On the 21st of November 2017, the Sangai Festival 2017 was inaugurated by President Ram Nath Kavand in Manipur. Sangai Festival 2017 is held for 10 days. It is named after Manipur's state animal, the brow antlered Sangai deer. E. The Sangai Festival showcases the tourism potential of Manipur in the field of arts and culture, handloom, handicrafts, indigenous sports, cuisine, music and adventure sports etc. 
Ningal Chakuba held in November. This is a social festival of the Maitais and many communities of Manipur where married women Ningal, are invited Chakuba, literally calling to a meal, for dinner or lunch, to a feast at their parental house with their children. Besides the feast, gifts are given to the women, invitees and to their children. It is the festival that binds and revives the family relations between the girls married away and the parental family. Nowadays, other communities have started celebrating this kind of a family bonding festival. It is held every year on the second lunar day of Hayange, mostly during the month of November, sometimes it falls in October. Ningal can mean daughter, a family's woman or a girl child and is not necessarily married. Cut held after the harvest festival in November, this festival predominantly celebrated by Kuki Chin Mizo tribes in Manipur has become one of the leading festivals of the state. Cut is not restricted to a community or tribe, the whole state populace participates in merriment. On the 1st of November of every year the state declared holiday for cut celebration. The festival is marked by cultural events such as traditional dances, folk dances, songs, sports and the Miss Cut contest. It is a festival of peace and thanksgiving to the Almighty for the harvests. Yaosang held in February or March, Yaosang is one of the biggest festivals of Manipur. Kwado Pawi Kwado Pawi is the harvest festival of the Tadim people who were recognized as Sukti and Zomi in India and Myanmar respectively. The word Pawi means festival in Tadim Zomi language. It is celebrated every year in the month of September to October after harvesting. Cheraoba also known as Sajabugi Nongma Panba and held in March or April, Cheraoba is the new year of Manipur. It is observed on the first lunar day of the lunar month Sajibu, March, April, and so it is also popularly known as Sajibu Cheraoba. People of Manipur clean and decorate their houses and make a sumptuous variety of dishes to feast upon after offering food to the deity on this day. After the feast, as a part of the rituals, people climb hilltops, in the belief that it would excel them to greater heights in their worldly life. Gan Gai Gan Gai is the greatest festival of the Zeliangrong people. It is a five-day festival and is usually performed on the 13th day of the Meitei month of Wakching as per the Meitei calendar of the lunar year. See also Manipur portal Armstrong Pame Human rights abuses in Manipur IROM Chanu Sharmala Heisnam Kanhailal List of Manipur films of 2013 Maramfest Outline of Manipur Savitri Heisnam Tourism in Northeast India. References Bibliography Ragini Devi, 1990. Dance Dialects of India. Mutalal Banarsidas. ISBN 978 81 208 0674 0. Doshi, 1989. Dances of Manipur, The Classical Tradition. Marg Publications. ISBN 978-81-85026-09-1. Reginald Massey, 2004. India's Dances, Their History, Technique, and Repertoire. Abhinav Publications. ISBN 978-81-7017-434-9. Singh, Harangbam Sadirkumar, 2011, Socio-Religious and Political Movements in Modern Manipur 1934-51, Jawaharlal Nehru University, Chodaganga Williams, D.R.I.D., 2004. In the Shadow of Hollywood Orientalism, Authentic East Indian Dancing. PDF. Visual Anthropology. Routledge. 17 69-98. Doi 10.1080/0894946049027409 External links Government Official website Official tourism site of Manipur general information Manipur Encyclopedia Britannica entry Manipur at Curlie
geographic data related to Manipur at OpenStreetMap. 